So in this video, I'm going to show you how to figure out which parts of a circuit will be on based on the position of the switches in the diagram. So the question asks, which bulbs will operate when the switches are in the position shown? And what I really need to remember is that electricity only goes through closed switches. So I just need to avoid any path where the switches are open. So I'm going to start at one side of the battery. I'm going to go through that red bulb and then I'm going to go up here to where I see that switch closed and go through that path and back to the other side of the battery. So it's important to remember that electricity goes all the way through a path or not at all. So I can't go through the path with the green bulb because that switch is open and if it can't go all the way through the path then it doesn't go through that path at all and the green bulb would not turn on. The same thing with the white bulb. I can't go all the way through that path because switch 3 is open. And if I can't go all the way through the path, then it doesn't go through the path at all. So with the switches in these positions, only the red bulb and the blue bulb would operate. So this question asks, which bulbs will operate when the switches are in the positions shown? I can see that one switch is closed and one switch is open. So remember that electricity goes all the way through a path or not at all. So if the path of electricity has to go through that open switch, then nothing along that path will turn on. So let's highlight our paths and see which bulbs will actually work. So I'm going to start at one side of the battery and I'm gonna go through this first path where there's no switches at all. And that shows me that the green and the blue bulbs will operate. So now I'm going to go here through my closed switch and turn to go through my purple bulb and I can see that I can get all the way from one side of the battery through the closed switch and the purple bulb back to the other side of the battery. So my purple bulb will work. And now I'm going to go from one side of the battery through the red bulb and the yellow bulb, but look. When I try to go that way, I hit that open switch. And remember, electricity goes through all the path or not at all. So since electricity won't go through the entire path containing the red and yellow bulbs, it won't go through that path at all. Which means that only my purple, green, and blue bulbs will operate when the switches are in the position shown. So here's one last example question, which asks, which components of this circuit will operate when the switches are in the positions shown? So I can see that some of my switches are closed and some of my switches are open. So I'm just going to start at one side of my battery and work my way through the closed switches. And I see my next closed switch is over here. I'm going to keep going all the way back to the other side of the battery. And so that tells me that this bell is the only component that's going to work. The path of electricity that I traced did not go through any of the green or blue bulbs. Remember, electricity goes all the way through a path or not at all. So the switch in the middle of the green bulbs that's open keeps both of the green bulbs from working and the switch that's open in the path of the blue bulbs keeps both of the blue bulbs from working. So the bell is the only component that will operate when the switches are in the position shown. I hope this video has helped you understand how to answer this type of circuit question. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.